Yeah, so Nepal has become the first uh, country uh, after India first to accept UPI as a payment platform for their yes. uh, you know, internal use, and that is insanely exciting. And uh, like because you need to understand that see, India is a leader when it comes to developing nations, right? Right. When when it we are we are the first. among equals in developing nations and we as a country we we developed this uh, full proof payments and remittances mechanism right which is the unit unified payments interface you know and uh, because this interface is so smooth and easy to use and it has been implemented in a country like india which has its own challenges when it comes to internet connectivity electricity uh, you know all of these uh, we as a country have have progressed have have taken a leap into the digital era because of upi i think one of one of the core reasons india has become a digital economy or will become a digital economy is the upi is the aadhaar is this layer of identity that we have created online which is the digi locker right all these things combined have pushed us into into this digital realm and now if this if if nepal as as a country is accepting it it is it's just it's just insane for them because imagine the kind of benefits upi can bring into a country like nepal with limited access to roads limited connectivity of electricity right it's a mountain region like there's hardly any uh, connectivity all all across the nation but if there is if there is upi they can if and they can send and receive payments throughout the country or internationally as well it opens up in insane amount a uh, number of doors for people in nepal and if the same thing can be replicated across developing nations then uh, firstly it can help a lot of these developing nations bring a major chunk of their population out of the poverty line you know like we did in our country and secondly it can it can leapfrog these guys into the digital era uh where which they might not have been able to do or uh, without a you without a payment and a p2p you know remittance layer and thirdly uh it's just easier to implement something that has been developed already right and indians have developed upi with a lot of trial and error with a lot of uh, you know conditions and terms because india is such a diverse country with its own set of problems and most of these problems are found commonly in a lot of developing nations so uh, inherently it is easier to just adapt and you know implement the upi rather than develop their own payment system for all these developing nations because it requires a lot of resources it requires a lot of talent it requires a lot of time and we all know that these uh, in most developing nations don't have any of the three let alone one so i think it's it's a great step right and if it can be implemented across developing nations or poor nations nothing like it and i think we should welcome this step i'm i'm pretty excited nikhil i think we've lost nikhil so yeah uh, this is hello hey hey yeah sorry i i got disconnected but yeah uh this this was really interesting and uh, of course this just boards uh, as you rightly pointed out ke apan log ka fintech alag level pe ah exactly or nobody comes close to us when it comes to fintech and problem solving and i think we're going to see that in the coming decade that yeah. it like you know uh, fresh works ka jo founder hai girish he i just read a article that in which he quoted that uh, indians are going to launch products in the next decade and these these are going to be global products and i think he's right like we, there's nobody that solves problems like we indians do because we need to do it at scale we need to do it dirt cheap and we need to make sure it reaches everybody now nobody has these unique set of problems as a country and also nobody has access to these many smart engineers exactly Sorry to say this but <laughs> you, need, you, need, you need problems and you need the solution right we have both so yeah. i think yeah india is going to lead the next decade or two <laughs>